Welcome to Water OpCert Schools Distribution System Operator Exam Preparation Series for Grades 1 and 2. And then our last example in the flow rate portion before we move on to some velocity calculations shows up. Number 40, top of the next page. And even though this is a flow rate calculation or in that section of our calculations here, you'll notice that all the answers are given in gallons. Not only that, but you have a length and a width given. So it says at 6.30 a.m., a 400 gallon per minute pump begins filling a new 45 foot long by 25 foot wide tank with water. How many gallons does the tank hold after eight hours? Well, again, it might be tempting to start setting this problem up as a rectangular volume process. And of course, in the rectangular volume process, we need length, we need width, but we also need the depth or height of the water in the tank, which is not given here. So because that is not given, we cannot use the rectangular volume formula. What are we going to use instead? Well, again, going back to our flow rate pie chart, which has volume on the top and flow and time on the bottom. In this case, we're solving for volume. So it's flow times time. So again, this was the equation that was on the front side of the formula sheet down in the bottom of the general section and uh, shows that you can calculate the volume in gallons that we've pumped by taking the pumping rate or flow in gallons per minute times time in minutes. Okay, well, our flow rate is 400 gallons per minute. Time period, though, is the eight hours. But like we saw in another example, a few of the others, in fact, we can turn hours into minutes just by multiplying by the 60 minutes per hour conversion factor. And you can do that one separately. In this case, you would come up with the same thing we saw earlier, 480 minutes is what we get for eight hours and then multiply 400 gallons per minute times that number of minutes or you can just use all three of these numbers together multiply them all three together and come up with the answer that way should end up with the same result either way so 400 times eight and times 60 192,000 same thing if you do 400 times the 480 with the hours already converted, 192,000 gallons is what we would have added. After eight hours, pumping at a rate of 400 gallons per minute. Answer A. Going on to number 36, which also has gallons per minute. Answers it says crew needs to pump 500 cubic feet of water out of a trench in two and a half hours. What is the smallest size pump? So very similar terminology here. What is the smallest size pump that will do the job? But this one we're going to do a little differently because uh, we have two different conversions to uh, perform this in this case. So still to calculate our flow in gallons per minute means gallons divided by minutes. So we get a volume in gallons that we're going to divide by a flow, or excuse me, a time in minutes. So our volume, this example, number 36, is given as 500 cubic feet of water which we're going to have to convert into gallons by multiplying by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. So we take that 500 cubic feet of water times 
7.48 to get that number in gallons. And similar to the last example, we have our time period that uh, they're wanting to have this done within, given in hours. So we're going to still multiply that number times the 60 minutes per hour. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how many gallons, how many minutes, 500 times 7.48 comes out to 3,740 gallons. So we have to pump a total of 3,740 gallons out of this trench in two and a half hours. So 2.5 times 60 which comes out as 150 minutes. All right, so if we need to pump out 3,740 gallons in 150 minutes, we need a pump that's gonna give us at least 24.93 gallons per minute. And that makes answer A the best choice.